Hi everybody, I'm Bill Sanders and this is Watch Art Sci, the art and science of watch collection. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, an interesting watch brand and the way they, they do things and the kind of watch that they have is a what I would call sort of a semi-dressy, uh, a real good everyday kind of watch. They're dressier than, I guess, your everyday office watch, but they're not as much so as a as your dressy, dressy watch. Okay, let's take a look at them. Now, the company is called uh, Limon, uh, and all of the watches are called into Poral, one thing or the other. Now, the, the entry level is called the Window Date Basic. And uh, these are all listed. These are the list price on them. I can, at the end, I'll tell you about some, I found, I think, some very good deals. <laughs> uh, this one is 6250 uh, 6,250 euros. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's a fairly sort of, sort of on the elegant-ish, I'll, I'll call it that. It's a chronometer watch, uh, which means it's been tested uh, through the the kind of, either through an observatory or with a machine testing of, for chronometer accuracy, which is very good accuracy. The other thing, one of the unique things about all these watches is a uh, is a retractable crown. So you have the crown, and and once you get it, uh, wound up, uh, at least wound up enough for your automatic to kick in, uh, that you push it in and it stays out of the way. And so like mine, this uh, Urban Jurgensen, you can see right here, the uh, crown, you can bump things into that. And <laughs> uh, especially if you wear a watch a lot. Now the caliber is called an LS0003. Uh, like it's automatic winding, and you can see the back. Uh, there's a big rotor on the outside, and so you have a pretty good view of the uh, of the movement. The um, it runs at uh, twenty eight thousand eight hundred semi oscillations per hour, and with pretty standard uh, one. Uh, I like the lower frequencies, but that's just me. Uh, it's got a um, power reserve of 24 hours. Okay, and it's got a date window. All right, um, and a center second. <laughs> All right. So this is sort of their basic one, 6250. Now the next one is called the Limon Interporal in temporal window date. Now the difference between these two, uh, at first I thought, you know, that's especially for the increase in price. Well, the increase in price, I think, is because of a couple of things. Uh, first of all, is the Gilo shade dial. Uh, they've got very nice dials. They come in several colors. Uh, I think, what are they? Black, blue, white, uh, and then also this maroon color. Now, here's the thing about this. If you look at the, um, if you look at the, uh, the back, you're, these are an automatic, so there's, you know there's going to be a rotor. So I th looked at it, I said, I don't see a rotor. <laughs> and so I thought, well, maybe it's a peripheral rotor. It's not. It's really an interesting rotor. It's sapphire. It's a sapphire crystal uh, rotor. And uh, this way, you have complete view of the movement, including that nice big balance wheel that's there. And um, it's, you know, it's just like a, I don't know why, like, why didn't somebody think of that before? I think it's a great idea. By the way, too, all of these watches come in 42 millimeters or 38 millimeters. Another really bright thing to do. They're all using the same movement. I mean, the same uh, for all of the different types. There's, they're using the same type, whether they're 38 or 42. So the base plate 
is uh, one that'll fit all of these uh, different kinds of watches. 42 hour reserve. Now, the last one I'm gonna talk about here, we could go on for quite a bit here, at least I could. Um, again, you have uh, 32 and um, 38 millimeter. This is called a dual time. Now this one jumps to 10,500 euro. Uh, the, and again, you look at the case and you have the uh, sapphire crystal rotor. And then on the front, now you have simply an extra 24 hour uh, time for the dual time. So uh, it's a very clear watch. Again, you have the hidden uh, retractable crown. Um, the, the other aspects of it are pretty much the same. The, the hands and the dial throughout are, are similar, but not as similar as there's a little difference. There's all of these watches that have uh, a few unusual things about them. Um, one of the things on this is the shape of the, uh, I, I don't know if you'd call them lugs or you'd simply call them uh, band collectors, that they, they don't have lugs as such. They have this ring and it looks like the the from underneath that you have your attachment and i don't know how they did that either but this is a brand i think that would be very competitive uh and again it's silicon free which i like a lot and uh, i th thought you might be interested in it and something you might think about let me know what you think and until next time this is bill sanders for watch outside uh, and happy new year again and hope to see good things for this coming year and this is one i'm going to look at oh by the way here's the surprise i was looking at the middle one the uh the window date without being the basic and i saw one on ebay it looked like it's in beautiful shape it had the gila shape uh three thousand nine ninety nine dollars not not euros. So there seems to be some good bargains on these and you, you might want to take a look at if you're looking for a good bargain with a watch like this, sort of a dressy office watch. Again, let me know what you think.